So recently a lot of people have asked me how do I store and display my Legion's Imperialis minis? So in this video I figured I'd talk about the way that I do it and what I printed off to make that happen, which is this. Well, at least part of it. So when it comes to Legion's Imperialis models, they are pretty small, but they take up about the same footprint as just your normal Warhammer models, because there's a lot packed onto one base. But the problem is they're not really very tall, so it's kind of hard to display. If you use like a normal display cabinet or storage, then it kind of becomes wasted because you have them all spread out and you have all this space above them and it's just, it's a bit of a waste. So because of that and wanting something that was a bit unique and something that just stood out a little bit and would help me to store my minis, I backed this on Kickstarter. So basically what this is, it's a modular display case. And the great thing about this is you can print it off without support, which is really good. And it's really customizable in the way that you can do it. So you can have all sorts of different sizes, you can have different styles on the front. And unless you're an idiot like me, it's also magnetic on the front. But I didn't do that. I made this weird hinge system. It doesn't quite fit properly. One of the reasons this is so good for Legions Imperialis, apart from obviously having it as expandable or as small as you want it, is that you've got three different depth sizes for this. So you can have it quite small and flush against the wall. You can have this medium one that I printed off, or there is one that comes out a little bit deeper as well, so that we can have more models that kind of like stacked all the way to the back, or you can have less models and just have it a little bit shallower, so that's completely up to you. And the other great thing about it as well is you've got a lot of customization options when it comes to how many rows you want. So for example, with Legion of Imperialis, because they're really, I guess, not very tall, you can have absolutely loads of little shelves and have a really small gap between them, which means you can have just loads of rows in a relatively small compact area. So for the example that I've got printed here, I've got a fair few rows here, but if I wanted to, I could get some more acrylic shelves for this and I could pack them in there. So in total, I could have like nine or 10 shelves in this one place. So if I just had loads of infantry, I could fill that up and then maybe have my taller units like my Titans and some of my planes and stuff like that all on the top row or a row that's more spaced out. And again, depending on how you want to do it, you could have your spaced out row in the middle. So you can have all like your big things like your Titans, slap bang in the middle and then all your infantry above and below. So when it comes to customization, this case is really good. It's really solid as well, obviously depending on the print settings you use. And basically how it works is you've got all these connector bits here. So you print off this little connector which slots in between these bits here and that joins it all together. And then on the front, unless like I said, you're an idiot like me, you've got all the bits here where basically you print off this magnet part and then you glue the acrylic into the middle of it. So that whole panel comes off the front and then it magnetically reattaches. Like I said, I didn't quite figure this out when I first got it and that was because I was rushing around too much and I made this hinge thinking, oh, this is so good. It, it, it's not because it didn't quite fit properly. So I do need to go back in there, reprint it and make that front panel magnetic. You will obviously need to supply your own acrylic shelves, but that's relatively easy enough. It gives you all the dimensions that you need for it. And again, when it comes to the, the shelves and stuff like that, you've got the option to have like slimmer shelves if you wanted to or thicker shelves. I've gone for the thicker shelves because I just think it makes more sense. It's going to be more weight applied to that over time. I don't want them to start to sag. So that makes sense to me, but it's completely up to you. You can also customize the front panels as well. So they've got loads of different designs. So if you want something that's really plain, you can have that. So I've gone for this, I think it was called the elf design, which is this like elven runic pattern. And I really like it. And then all I did is once I got it all printed, I just sprayed it all silver first and then with gold from above. And I just like the way this always comes out because it gives this like old rustic, old kind of like metal look. So a really short video just to explain how I'm storing my miniatures and how I display them. I love this sort of thing because it's so customizable and I'm thinking I'll probably do some that will just be like four corners. Do so you have like a little box and then I can have those for like big centerpiece units that I want to show off. And then I'm also thinking in the studio slash garage area, I'd like to do a huge one of these and just have it like a slap bang in the middle of the wall with loads of miniatures. And I'll probably go for one of the deep ones. And the reason I'm more comfortable doing that is because I'll be able to do it straight into brick. So therefore I should be able to support it better. I forgot to mention these also have all the bits to attach it. So you've got like your screw hook there. So that way it goes into the wall nicely and you can print off a template to make sure it goes on perfectly. So all in all, it's a really well thought out design. And if you have a 3D printer, then I'd recommend maybe picking this up. I'll put all the links down below. I like it because it's great for displaying my Legion's Imperialis models because it gives me so many options when it comes to height. But it is also good as well if you're using different types of models like just standard Warhammer 40k or anything like that. If you don't have a 3D printer, they did do a commercial license with this at the Kickstarter. So I'm pretty positive that there will be places like on Etsy or other third party sellers that also sell this as well. Not too sure how much that will retail for, but it's always worthwhile having a look at. So let me know in the comments, how do you store and display your Legion's Imperialis models? Like I said, the biggest problem with them is the height because you end up with so much wasted space 
up and above those. So this has turned out really nicely for me, but I'd be really interested to know what your solutions are. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the like and subscribe button and come along for some more content in the future. And I will see you soon. Bye.